Hello everybody, it is a Burke with the Junk Parlor and I am here to share with you my vintage haul from the week. I normally go out on Thursdays, we had snow, so I ended up only going to two places, big multi-vendor places, so that I could do a lot of shopping and not have to drive a lot. I did do a shop with me video while I was at Collectomania. So be sure to click and go back and watch that video. But then I also went to Brass Armadillo and shopped there. You are going to see my haul, $214 spent that day, last week, one day, going out picking. You're gonna see what I got. I'm typically not a pillow or textiles person, but I picked up those puppies that were beaded. And so I ended up getting this needlepoint pillow. It's in great condition. It's a feather pillow. And I've really been attracted to needlepoint lately and all of the old stools. And so that was a good price. So I grabbed that. Now this I definitely spent probably too much money on. But for whatever reason, I was just simply attracted to this accordion. I mean, it's red and green, great for Christmas time, but it is a very nice brand and old accordion. Now there is something in there rattling. Well, there was, yeah, there's something in there. Of course, I can't get it to rattle too much right now, but um, I think my mother-in-law plays an accordion and so I'm hoping when I see her next, she can look it over for me and figure out how we can get that rattling piece out. I don't think that anybody's ever going to play it, obviously, but I do think that it's pretty um, cool just to set out on your shelf. All of the billows are not perfect. Um, some of them do have a little bit of a, a hole with them, but I mean, what a great look, what a beautiful thing to put on your shelf. This bowl was not marked, but it has some awesome crazing and discoloration in it, and I absolutely love it. It is very unique because it's not rounded like a mixing bowl. It, I don't even know what kind of bowl it would be, but I just loved it. I thought it would be great for layering. I could put this on my kitchen counter with produce in it. You can see where it's set in the kiln on both sides, but the perfect color. You know I have been looking for bowls. I've picked up a lot here lately. This one I got for $26. It looks like it had a tag on the bottom at some point that almost looks like yellow paint on it. But this thing is nice and big. It is kind of maybe not my color, but I still really liked it. can never go wrong with a little mug tree. This one is green, so that is definitely a bonus. Those are great for hanging ornaments or any little bitty collections that you have. Check out this little money box. It is different than a lot of the ones that I get because of this textured top, and it's definitely smaller. So without even testing it on some of the other stacks that I have, I know it's gonna fit on there, super cute. And I do have some stacks for sale if you are interested. And then originally what attracted me to this book is what? Of course, the color, but it also is a garden book, which I love. And then I've shared before that I love all the little bits and stuff that come in a book, like people press flowers. I always find lots of fabric scraps, just random things and then little notes people say. So this one has the American Garden Guild, an address, 10,000 garden something, 395. Past paid is what it says. Um, so Indianola, Iowa, a thousand garden questions, 
And this one is a nice garden book, but there really aren't images like the last garden book that I had. I just flipped and saw a neat page, and of course now I'm not gonna be able to find it. But anyway, it is informational, not a bunch of beautiful graphics that you're gonna pull out. But green and garden, I love that. This little tray, I'm not sure what would have been on here. Little condiments, salt and peppers. I really liked it. I like that it has the feet, so it's raised up a little bit. You could do ink wells, perfume bottles, et cetera, et cetera. Super cute. Just by chance, this is a Utopia quadruple plate silver cup, mug, not really sure. It does look bent here a little bit, so it's been dropped, but I just picked up a creamer that was the same style, and those kind of have a lot of value to them, being the quadruple plate, or maybe it's the Eureka, Eureka brand itself. And so when I found this one too, I was super excited. I'm gonna message the girl that got the creamer and see if she wants to get that as well. Then this was just a very random piece. So cherries, I really like that. But this is a jar that somebody has covered with string. So this is like just a makeup jar. You can see kind of the pink string is in there. And actually maybe it's not homemade. It actually has a sticker on the bottom. That's just tape from the old price tag. But um, it says something ENT Japan, but I really thought that this was probably somebody's little craft project back in the day. Then I got grabbed this little basket. I've been looking for containers to put things in. This is the perfect size to go on the back of a toilet. It, my toilet paper rolls are probably too big to go in here, but you could put something else in here. You could also take Kleenexes out of the box and put the tissues in here if you wanted, or just put some bottles. It's a great way to corral things, and then when you corral things, it looks a lot less cluttered um, in your space. You might have seen this if you watched me shop Collectomania. This is a pink flower frog. I don't think I have ever had a pink one, absolutely gorgeous. You might have also seen that I was checking out this big wooden spoon, and I feel like there wasn't a chip on it when I got it, but maybe there was. But this is gonna go in with some of the spoons in my kitchen for sale, but I am just making them look cute until then. With Easter coming up, I thought this little um, kid's wooden hanger was so cute. Again, it's the colors that I like, the blues and the greens. I did grab that bowl I had been eyeing. I mean, check out that crackling. And the color is just definitely my color. I think this one was a Seville. These don't necessarily look like it, but they are marble grapes. I love the coloring. I love the stick on it. You can see that. They're a smaller bunch, but I think that they would look great sitting on a shelf, in a wooden bowl, on a dough bowl. And then I must have a thing for Barbie doll clothes. This little fur jacket is just so cute with the satin blue on the inside. It's got its buttons and pockets. I have a couple of old Barbie wedding dresses and I think all three of these on a little clothesline would be so cute. This probably isn't that old. It's got some uh, felt on the bottom. It is dinged up a little bit here in this corner, but it's a good riser, kind of like a compote. You could put a cloche on it if you wanted more green. So I think this is Vaseline glass. I don't have a black light, so I really don't know how you can tell if you don't. And it's not marked or anything, but again, it's the color green. Pictures are always good to use as vases or just as containers to showcase some of your small things. 
And then remember this was what they called a pencil holder. If you watch the film of me shopping, but I really think it's a toothbrush holder in the color I think is perfect for our bathroom. I have been so attracted to shell things lately. I do not know why. And I just discovered the term tramp art. I don't know where it has Brooke been, but the little uh, risers on this are even shells. I mean, how cute is that? It's like a terracotta bowl probably that somebody has covered with the shells. Super cute. I just couldn't pass up these little prints. I mean, look at that little girl in the little pink. My daughter's bathroom is um, kind of a blush color. I doubt she will let me hang it up in there, but I did think it would look cute in her room. And here is another cute little girl bathroom tub um, picture. These are actually the same size and they do have um, things so that they can stand, but they do not have anything so you can hang them. So you would need to get some command strips or something to, to hang those on the wall. I don't understand the back of this. This is like wrapping paper, but it's been sealed on there. So I'm kind of confused about that because to me that seems like newer wrapping paper. And then I think the tag said Scandinavian, but I think this is Swedish. It's some kind of a Christmas um, saying, and now I can't even remember. I did look it up, but I just thought it was so pretty. These birds, it has kind of a, the fabric is kind of colored like tan tinted, tea stained, and I think that it would look great out on somebody's Christmas display. This they had labeled as a spice rack, so I'm not sure if it is or not. Um, it looks like it might be brass and then have black paint on it. Not sure, but even if I just set this in a windowsill, you could put some ink bottles there or um, marmalade pots might fit on there. And then I got all of the spice jars. So you could do something with those. So all of these jars that I got are very chippy green paint on the lid. So I'm probably going to take the lids off and spray them down with a clear coat. So it looks like there's some hand painted flowers that maybe somebody polyurethaned on. Well, what happens with polyurethane? It yellows with time. So hence the yellow, but I actually kind of like it. These jars had the best, best um, shape overall. And I think that they are actually shakers. A different style, and I really like these as well. You can see the lids on here, this one especially, a lot more chippy. Again, the hand-painted flowers. These jars have a great shape as well. There are one, two, three, four, five that have that shape. And then this one is another shaker. Definitely can tell with the old um, holy top. It has a great shape too. I don't think I really noticed how um, unique the bottle or the jar shape was. So this is the same, but a different lid. Another one, same shape, but just a solid lid. This one almost looks like a pickle jar. It's got the, the barrel. And this one actually says starch, cornstarch, cornstarch on it. I thought a few of them had writing on them. This one says mustard seed. Another barrel jar. And then this one is the only one like it and it says baking powder. So you could scrape all of this off. I actually kind of like it like that, but I am going to spray the lids just so when I ship them and they're rubbing on things, they're not gonna flake off everywhere because if they're just sitting on like my own shelf and I wasn't shipping them, they're not gonna be chipping off. If you don't touch them, nothing ships. But I love the color of those lids. Then I got a couple of pin cushions. So this one is a globe. And look at how many hat pins are in there and just straight pins as well. So I thought that was super unique and I loved it. And then I must have had a thing for pin cushions that day. This one is really old. So if you really look at the top of the fabric, that 
the kind of fabric, the texture of the fabric really, to me, shows the age and then it has the little strawberry with it and the, oh you can still see it has the japan tag a lot of times the little tags on there um have faded so it's just like a white plain tag but i guess that one actually says japan okay so that's what i picked up at collectomania and brass armadillo this week Please join me on Instagram where I will have a sale every Wednesday in stories and then I do pop-up live sales as well. So I would love for you to follow me there.